Oh, oh, mother to John Hudson from Smith. Okay. The same comes from the from you. Does that make sense to you? From your heart, from yourself. How does it transmit does from it trans the listen? parents? How does it transmit? Because you believe in that, do right? You, do you believe that it transmits? Uh, Christians do. Do you believe in it? Not all Christians believe that. Oh, so you're a special type of Christians who don't believe in it. Um, so, so you're talking about a particular theology. Yeah. Isn't it true that original sin transmits from Adam to you? Because oh, you don't believe in original you believe, sin. You believe in a particular theology. Do you believe in the original sin? Okay. If the, if the question is because you can ask your own thing. Yeah. Where does sin come from? So do you believe in the original sin? I believe the sin comes from the heart of man. I'm asking you that question. So your sin comes from your heart and my sin comes from my heart. Um, if, until you, you find out what you are asking of Jack. Can you Do you have the original sin of Adam? On the scan that you know in you. Yeah, but that's my point. But human nature. That's my question. I'm not talking about human nature. I'm not talking about human nature. I'm talking about the original sin of Adam. Has it been transmitted to you? Oh. All descendants of Adam show the same propensity to sin. My question is that. That's the answer to your question. My question. So what is your my question is very specific, and I want you to concentrate and focus on it. Okay. Adam and Eve sinned according to the Christian belief. That sin, that belief, transmitted to the descendants of Adam and Eve according to Christian belief. But this body say no. I see. Be honest. According to you. According to Muslims, the sin of Adam and Eve did not transmit to the descendants. Do you believe the sin of Adam and Eve transmitted to his descendants? According to you. To their descendants. According to you. Adam and Eve sin, yeah? You believe that? Look, my question is very specific. Do you believe the sin of Adam and Eve, peace be upon them, transmitted to their descendants? Okay, but I need to know what you mean. Do you mean Adam and Eve sin? Do you believe in that? Or do you not believe Are you saying you don't believe that they sin? Okay, do you let me try it again. According to your belief, if I'm not mistaken, Adam and Eve sin, and that's point number one. Do you accept that? Yeah, and do you? Do we both accept that? Or are we talking no, about... No, no, it's not talking about my beliefs. Because my beliefs may be different. Uh, no, we are having We're talking about your beliefs. When the discussion came about Jesus and Mary and about sin transmission. I don't know what I believe. But That's why I'm trying to, to understand. Do you believe Adam and Eve sinned? And God forgave them, yes. Okay, they, no, no, okay. they, so what was their sin? Okay. What, can you the explain sin, to Sin was everybody. of one of disobedience. I'm not going to talk forever, so give me a bit of space. So you're not going to... You're not going to talk about the descendants. You're interested in our yeah, yeah, yeah. Step by step. Okay. Good. So, so what? No, hold on. What was hold the sin? You asked me and asked me to hold that again. Yeah. Okay. Second. What was the sin that Adam and Eve did? Okay. According to you. So according to us, God to told us to you. God to I'm only talking to you. To Muslims. To it's a Muslim no, view. No, no, that's that's three three there is everyone. only one Muslim view on this. Please. Okay. Tell right? me. And you agree so with that? Yeah? God told. Do not approach the tree. Yeah. Do not approach this tree. But they approached the tree because Satan misled them. And then when they did that, when God told them not to, they realized their mistake and they returned back to God in forgiveness. And God forgave them. God in fact taught them the words of forgiveness. And as they uttered the words of forgiveness, God forgave them. So that's the end of the story of their sin. The sin of Adam and Eve, according to Islamic understanding, does not transmit from them to their descendants. Now, back to you now. Wait, wait. Back to you now. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Their sin was approaching a tree. Um, as I have explained, do you believe Adam and Eve's sin of eating of the tree transmitted that sin to their descendants? And if you do, how is the sin transmitted? Okay, you said the sin of Adam and Eve was approaching a tree. I think that's that's the wrong definition of sin. Approaching a tree is fine. The sin of Adam and Eve was rebellion against God. Yeah? Did you hear what I said? You said approaching a tree. That's what I heard no. you said. I've been telling you all along they were disobedient okay, so to God's command. So disobedience is being rebellion, is being a rebel to God's command. But that disobedience was a slip because they were misled by Satan. 
and one one of the machines in the Quran, هذه الشجرة. فلاذا قرابة هذه الشجرة. Do not both of you approach the street. So this is what Islam teaches us. You don't then tell me, oh, this is the wrong definition of sin, because according to whose definition? According to our definition, which you ask. According to our definition is what I said. Allah told us that He mentioned to them, do not approach the street. And when they did, of course, they were in disobedience. And 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 let me finish. Yeah, Can we finish? I, I know it. The, no, the, the, basic, the basic Excuse sin, me, please. The basic sin was rebellion or disobedience. Is that right? So which one of the two? Are you talking about that? Fair enough. That's fair. Yeah. And God, God forgave them because they turned in repentance. Okay. So my question to so, you was, so I would did God forgive them? I'm going to add another question now. Did they turn in repentance? No, listen, listen. I want you to really open up and okay. answer the question. Did they turn back to God for forgiveness and did God forgive them? Secondly, did their sin transmit to their descendants? Please now elaborate. Okay, so the basic, the basic sin was disobedience or the family against God. Yeah? And I would, I would say all the people I know, including you, I don't know much about you, but there's a disobedience and a rebellion against God in you. That is a sin in your heart. Answer my question. Apparently, all Adam's descendants have the same sinful propensity to rebel against God. You being sort of, you know, using um, you know, word gymnastics, which I don't want you to do. I have asked you a specific question. I'm giving you a specific answer. Let me give you what questions are. I'm saying you, wait, 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 you are as rebellious against God as um, Adam That's what I'm asking. But it is true, isn't it? Let me ask you again. It's true, isn't it? Can I ask you again? Is it true? Did they turn Just to God in repentance? Admit it, you are as rebellious Excuse against me. God Excuse me. as anyone. I don't think you, are, yes, you, you are. I don't think you my understand friend, my question. Don't, don't deny the truth. You are rebellious no. against God. I don't, like think, I don't think you understand no. the question I'm asking. Uh, it's not about me. Yes, it is. The question is, oh, did, no, 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 no. The question is this. did Adam and Eve turn to God in repentance? <laughs> Did Adam and Eve turn to God in the country? And did God forgive them? Let's start with that. Did they turn to God in the country asking for forgiveness? And did God forgive them? Are you a sinner? Excuse me. Do you have a sinful Unless you answer this question, you are just waffling. You are waffling. I asked you specifically, when Adam and Eve sinned, which you agree they did, did they turn to God in repentance and ask God for forgiveness and did God forgive them? Did you turn to God in repentance? I wasn't there. So when Adam and Eve did that, did they, did they, did they ask God to forgive them? So did they ask God to forgive them? I was asking a good question, I thought. I thought it was a good question. So Jesus would have dealt with We went with all your face. What happened? Did, did, they, did they ask God to forgive them? And did God forgive them? Yes. No. It's not about me as I wasn't there. So since I wasn't there, since I wasn't there, when they made this Disobedience, act of disobedience. You are, you are. Did they ask God to forgive them and did God forgive them? You are not answering this question for a reason. Did God forgive you? I wasn't there. So, has he ever forgiven you? You're not Adam, are you? I'm not. I know that you're not Adam. No, he's not I'm Adam. Not. So the question is about Adam. So, was, did God forgive Adam when Adam repented of his did sins? Did God repent of this sins? Did Adam repent of this sins? Sorry. Do you know it? Do you know it? I do, yeah. Reasonably well, I do. Yeah. So, did Adam repent? Is he, sin? Whoever he is. Is he any better than Adam? I, I've never met Adam personally. Okay. Have you met Adam? Uh, has anyone here met Adam recently? No, okay. how, is, how is Adam? Can you answer the question? Can you answer the question? Did Adam and Eve turn to God in sincere repentance and did God forgive them? 
That's my first question. Second question is, do you believe the sins from them transmit to their descendants? So start with the first. So let's, uh, the sins from Ads actually no. transmit to you. First question, did they ask God to forgive them? Did you, are you a sinful or less? Are you trying to clever me outsmart the discussion? I'm bringing it back to the call. I ask you, if you have any amount of integrity in your heart, and you negate you have, if you have any, any of it, the question I'm asking you is this. Look, look, the question I'm asking is, not you, did Adam and Eve, according to the Bible, according to the church traditions, ask God to forgive them once they had made this mistake? The evidence between me and you is that you are as bad as Adam. And that's the evidence. What more do you So you're not going to answer the question? That's the answer to the question. And what was my question? If you are as bad as Adam. No, that's not what I asked. Because you asked I didn't ask that question. So, did you hear my question? I repeated it about six, seven, eight times. The sin of Adam transmits unto his descendants. You are one of them. So you assert, now you answered my second question. If you are an exception. Good, good, my friend. You've answered, no, you've answered my second question, right? It is clear. Can you answer the first question? It is clear. When they made that mistake, that sin, did they, okay, when you make a mistake, when you make a mistake, do you turn to God for forgiveness? Do you? I remember that. Oh, Good, of course. You, sure. When Adam and Eve, yes, yes, yes I do too. Okay. So, so we all agree. And wait, I wait. asked you before. Wait, God. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down, my friend. So when Adam and Eve made a mistake, did they return to God in sincere repentance and ask for forgiveness? Did God ever forgive you? Um, excuse me.